We are doing sort of an ASMR soft spoken relaxing video going through some charms and I'll just give you guys a quick tour of my tarot room. We can do a more in-depth video. Like I've got cords around my air conditioners there so it's not really set up how I would like for you guys to see it but this is how I use it. This is you know real life. I spend a lot of time in here watching Netflix. I've got my show on there. So I spend a lot of time in here, so I'll just give you guys a bit of a tour, but first let's do a little intro of what, you know, why I'm doing this video. So I've been buying large lots of jewelry. So I knew that there was charms in here, but there was a whole lot of other things too. So basically we just went through it and I would love to hear what charms are your favorite, what you think, and it's just meant to be relaxing. Hopefully it can help some of you unwind and relax. A few of the things in here I I bought separately and just I've been adding it to this little box. So yeah, we just go through it. We just go through and check everything out. Lots of charms in here. We got lots of really cool things. And there's some other little surprises in the video as well. But first, I'll just give you guys a bit of a tour of the tarot room. I guess just a quick tour. We can go more in depth in a different video. So this is my little corner with my bookshelf. And this corner is really special because a lot of what's in this corner belonged to my grandmother. There she is there. And my grandma is the one that actually introduced me to tarot and oracle and tea leaf reading. She is a big part of why I'm interested in it. I have a lot of fond memories. And what's really special is I don't think a lot of people in our family really knew that she was interested in tarot cards. And luckily she shared it with me. And it was just a really nice memory and I'm very thankful. So a lot of what she has, um, or what I have here belonged to her. So that doll, and I know a lot of you have been scared of that doll, but that was hers when she was little. And it's moved around in a few videos, but don't be frightened. It's because I have it in a jar here. So she's in a jar to hold her up. So sometimes, um, she tilts back and forth. There's no reason to be afraid. It's nothing <laughs> supernatural. She's a, she's a friendly doll. So I've got some books here, my little plant and my salt lamp, and then just some books. That was my grandma's apple in there. The shelf belonged to her as well. So a lot of what I have um, did belong to her and she's sort of all over the room. And a lot of what I bought too also I picked up in Salem. I like to go to Salem. It's my favorite place to visit. So these pictures, it's just a nice witch picture, very vintage. That's my great grandma. There's my grandma. There's my great grandma again, and there's my mom. So yeah, it's a little bit of a tour there. I like how the cabinet lights up. Okay, so then we have the cabinet where we started. So I got this online. And honestly, if I had found this in an antique store, I would have never been able to afford it. The lady who was selling it, my grandpa made that cat up in the corner. But yeah, um, the lady who was selling it um, just needed it out of her house. She was moving and there was a lot of interest after I called I guess she got lots of phone calls asking about this So for a hundred dollars, I thought it was a really great bargain and this houses all of my cards my oracle cards tarot cards um, Some organizational things extra like tools in there um, There I've got some candles I've got bottles and candles and different fun things in there So I can give you more of an in-depth tour because I'm pretty sure it's not This might be risky yeah, it's not, very, it's not very organized. I've just got like things that I use for like candle magic and videos, um, some tarot bags, ex yeah, extra candles. So, yeah, there's just sort of, it's not the most organized. Maybe I'll wait to show you what's in there. Um, so then we go to this corner and this is just like a little sitting corner. And this is where my jewelry rack is. So this jewelry rack I actually got at um, a secondhand store so they were closing down they they sold clothing and they were closing down and this is what they used to display their jewelry on so I think I got this for like ten dollars and then I painted it so very cool I just picked up this actually at a thrift store too you'll notice a theme a lot of my things are are thrifted um, so this I'm going to probably spray paint gold I know my brushes have makeup on them but they're clean. I just use them. <laughs> so, uh, what else can I show you? Okay, so my this is my little desk where I sit. I watch Netflix um, on it. 
there I am watching Breaking Bad right now. Um, so my jewelry box is a picture of my mom there that I've her face covered. We're we're private people. So then we've got um crystals and shells, just different things like that. My candle. There's a picture of me and my dad when I was little. Um, he passed away. I've got my mom's dog. Here we have um basically just where I, I put letters and postcards, different things that I get when I purchase tarot decks. That was from Serena B. Creative. That's my grandmother there. That's Flurry. For those of you that are Brooke Waldor fans, that's her dog Flurry. This was a Christmas card that she sent um, when I purchased the animal, one of my animal oracle decks from Jessica Swift. She included that, so I liked it. Postcard from a friend. Uh, just like, yeah, like that's, like that's from the creator of the... 80s oracle i just really like her little add-on that she put in her order this is from if you've seen halloween town this is the actress that played marnie um I'll, yeah there's some pamela coleman smith artwork yeah so this is just where i kind of shuffle or do tarot readings and watch netflix i eat dinner on this desk quite a bit <laughs> so then there's my little closet um this is foundation because my hands like makeup. So like after I put my makeup on, I obviously must like grasp the wall getting dressed. I don't know what I do, but anyways, I'll get that off. But yeah, these are my clothes. So this house is very, it's an older house. So the closets are very tiny, but you know what? It works. Uh, I don't have a lot of clothes, so it, work, it works just fine. So, and I wear pretty much the same things. I wear leggings and then dark tops, occasionally jeans, and I have a few for special occasions. But yeah, that's my closet. So yeah, this is my room. This is my tarot room. I hope you enjoyed this and we'll get into the little charm tour, relaxing, um, sorting through video. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go through this little box here. So I know for a fact there are charms in here. There's other jewelry as well. So not everything is gonna work for my charm kit, but I'll use some things for crafting and it'll just be fun to go through. So I bought most of this as one group or one lot of jewelry. And a few things I picked up at the charm, or not the charm, the thrift store and added to the top here. So a few things I got recently at the thrift store, but everything else came in this box. So yeah, when you go to thrift stores, yard sales, or check online, you can usually find large groupings of jewelry. And that's a good place to find really unique charms. So let's take a look. So I'll try and get out the bigger things first. So first we have, so this was from the thrift store and I thought about taking it apart to use these charms, but my charm set already has an owl and binoculars and a bird. And I kind of like this, so I haven't decided yet, but if I make a charm set for someone else, I can definitely use these, but I do like it. So I might not take it apart. So yeah, I'll take out some of pendants and things, a little butterfly here, these over here. So this was another one I got separately, just a little haunted house with ghosts. I collect vintage Halloween brooches and pins. So this will go with my Halloween stuff. This was separate as well. This is a little saddle. So let me know too what meanings you can think of or what symbolism you can think of for each of these charms. So this one's interesting. This one looks homemade like somebody created it. That's kind of neat. A little leaf here. So I've also seen people use brooches and jewelry and hot glue it to a board and then paint it. So they use it almost like collage. So this is really neat. That would work for, this would even work as a pick a card item. This looks like a little surfboard. Little peace sign. This reminds me of things I had in the 90s. The multicolored rainbow peace signs. A little rose. It's like a piece of a necklace. So anything I don't use for charms or crafting, I'm sure my mom will use. 
or I could re-donate it. So a lot of these things are too large for my charm set, but depending on the size of your charm set, you could definitely use things like this as well. You would just need a bigger space to cast your charms. We'll sort of be there. Little bell. This looks like somebody homemade it. It looks like a little homemade polymer clay flower. Larger pendant. I wonder what side it was meant to be. Probably both. And there are some larger pieces in here that I probably can't use for charm casting, but you could do crafts with them, make jewelry. Let me know what you would use with these things. Oh, here's another. So these must have been earrings then. So this piece looks like it was either from a belt or a keychain, and I probably won't use it as is, but I would use these little beads for crafting. So I'll probably use these, take these off. You could hang this from a purse. I bet you that's what it was. Look at this guy. This is super 80s. This reminds me. I thought at first it was a bottle opener, but it looks like it was a keychain. Little pink elephant. I don't know what I would use him for, but. So we're getting into some of the smaller things here. Yeah, these things you could use for crafting or jewelry making. And sometimes when you buy lots of things, like larger groupings of things, you're not gonna like everything in the in the group, but everything so far I've seen I really like or I know I can use for something. But you can definitely re-donate or give things to other people. So that's kind of cool. And anything I don't like or can't use for charm casting, my mom would probably be able to use. Oh, this is cool. I like this for a pick a card item. This is really neat, I like this. Ring here. This would be a nice necklace. Feather. So the thing with the feather is, I could use it for a pick a card. This looks like it was an earring, I wonder. I suspect there's gonna be a lot of single earrings that I'll have to use just for the pieces, but that's okay. It's a pretty feather. This caught my eye, police box, little telephone box. This is kind of a neat charm. This looks like it was a bracelet at one point. My mom might like this. Here's another larger one. I like the colors of these beads. This pendant's pretty. I had a lot of earrings like this. For a while there, these were really popular. The really long dangly earrings. Oh yeah, this was another thrift store find. This little glass jar has little dried flowers in it. So I added that. This is really pretty. I bet you this was part of an earring. And for the earring parts, you could go to a craft store and get the actual earring hooks. More elephants. My charm set has a lot of elephants, but I really like these. Ooh. So this is a keychain, and the great thing about this is this one keychain has several charms on it. So like a lot of these things would work for separate charms. It has more, more of this. 
I bet you whoever sold this stuff or got rid of this stuff, probably my age, because a lot of this is very similar to things I would have had. Ooh, look at this. I like this. This to me makes the whole box worth it. I would use this for a pick a card item. I really like this. It's a heavy little piece and it's got the little loop there. So I bet you it was either a keychain or maybe even a necklace. But I really like that. Yeah, he's cool. All of these beads I can use too. So here we have a match. These earrings remind me of a lot of the pairs of earrings my mom had in the 90s. She had lots of costume jewelry. And these remind me of something she would have had. And you know what? To be honest, I would probably wear these. I think with the right outfit, they would actually be really cute and unique. And these remind me of little dollhouse chandeliers. So even, that's the thing, you can multi-purpose things. If you had a dollhouse, like this would work, you know what I mean, as a little chandelier. So you have to kind of think creatively. It depends why you're buying these lots, right? A lot of people repurpose jewelry pieces to make new jewelry or charm bracelets. Or if you're like me, you use it for charm casting. Artwork, like there's all sorts of things. These I might try to find the earring hooks and actually keep them as earrings. I really, I really like them. A friendship necklace. And you wonder who has the other side. Probably use that as a charm. Ooh, another dollhouse chandelier earring. These would be cool on a charm bracelet or just a gold bracelet. You could just like have one hanging off the bracelet. I like these too. Ooh, this is a full necklace. I just, it's just missing the chain. This is really antique looking. I like this. Even just this part, it's really pretty too. Ooh, I might try to repair that. That's kind of neat. A little pin, angel pin. Lots of earring pieces. Lots of beads. Definitely have a lot of extra beads from here now. Ooh, another friendship charm. I wonder if this one and this one were given to the same person. So it looks like a little purse and a little bra or bikini top. keys. I love keys. Key to success. That is an awesome charm. This will definitely go in the charm set. This is really unique. I like that. A little mirrored heart. This looks like a little tie. I have a tie in my charm set, but I like this. Feeling wonderful. That's cute. Oh yeah, this came from the thrift store too. A few of these have fallen to the bottom. They came from a little jewelry kit that I got. This was one of them, but I just thought it was really pretty. Little elephant. I do have a lot of elephant charms. Ooh, here's the hat that goes with the purse. bikini bottom. So this, I bet you this came off of a charm bracelet. I bet you all of these were from the same thing. A 
another larger piece. Ooh, I like this a lot. This is like an engagement ring. I'll probably add this to my charm set. That is really pretty. Another one of those homemade looking flowers. Let me know what you can think of for a meaning for this. This is cool. Lots of sort of individual little beady things too. Another flower. It's like a wheel. That could be an interesting charm. Little doll. And if you like these videos, like the video where I'm going through this, I have more coming actually. I have more big sets of jewelry that I haven't gone through, so let me know if you like it. This looks like a little homemade crocheted flower earring. A locket. I love lockets. There's lots of hearts in this set of jewelry, so I could probably make a bracelet just from all the hearts, but I really love lockets. Little pearl. Soccer ball. My charm set has a soccer ball. But that's cool. A lot of this is reminding me of jewelry I had when I was a teenager, so I bet you whoever this stuff belonged to is probably about my age. Marissa. Best friends. Cocktail hours. So, cocktail hours and feeling wonderful. <laughs> so yeah, anything that doesn't go in my charm set, we'll just go in with my extra charms. Or, I can use for crafting. So, all of this will get used somehow. Little shell, that's really pretty. Another locket. Little key, that's a really nice charm. I love keys. So this little charm bracelet also fell to the bottom. This was from the thrift store. I paid $1.99 for it, but I really liked the owl and I liked this little arrow too. So I bought this. singular earrings, but I know I can use the pieces. I have beads like that. A little checkerboard. Almost at the bottom here. Oh yeah, this was another one from the thrift store. This I paid a little bit more for because it's sterling silver and I liked how it, I think I paid $3 for this one charm, but I liked how it said going steady and it opens up. So this one was unique to me, so I did pick it up. So that'll go with my main charm set. Another heart, this one's really cool. Bead. This looks like a little spoon. Got lots of different hearts, so many hearts. So I could totally make a heart bracelet just out of this little box. This shooting star was from 
the kit that I added to this. A lot of these little pieces are too. I had bought a little jewelry making kit and poured it into here, so. A little Eiffel Tower charm, that's really cute. The leaf is cute. This is more of the size of charms I have in my kit, so this little shell. Lots of hearts. A little butterfly. The beads alone, I think, are worth it. Oh, this is cool. There's a little globe full of crystals. So yeah, the bottom here just has a lot of little pieces, a little heart. There's lots of M's in here and lots of different initials, K. I think I saw an L in here too, so lots of different initials, letters. Little dolphin, that's a tiny, that's a cute little charm though, little dolphin. butterfly so very cute so if you enjoyed this um, definitely let me know I can do more of these because I do have more coming and more different charms to go through so I'll just show you too where I put charms I'll just get the box out here for you sorry so this is where I keep charms that currently aren't in my charm set I'd love to make different charm sets as well so this has just a lot of extra charms in it that friends have given me. So what I'll do is I'll go through the, through the ones I have today and then determine what's going into my charm set, what's going into jewelry making. But yeah, I can go through this in a video too if you want to see all of these little things. Really cool charms. And the thing is, is I like to rotate charms out of my main charm set and add new ones, take ones out. So I like to change it up sometimes. So yeah, I would love to hear what you thought of this and any meanings that, or any certain charms that jumped out at you, I would love to hear what uh, symbolism you would apply to them. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys was this discovery quartz. So I purchased this um, at a local store and I really want to see what's in it and I tried to open it using one of my really heavy keys because it suggests using it, uh, opening it with a hammer. Um, but this didn't work so I'm going to take this outside and try and open it. I tried to sort of use this as a hammer but it didn't work so we'll get a hammer, we'll take this outside and see what's inside. Hey guys, I'm outside. We're going to open up the little geode. But I just wanted to show you my mint. It's growing really well. This is chocolate mint. It really smells like a mint chocolate bar. It's so nice. Let's see what's in here. So I'm just gonna give it a little, I'm holding the camera. So I got them open and my friend did mention that the, it'll likely break into separate pieces, but they're really pretty. So. Yeah, it took me a few tries with the hammer, so I couldn't hold the camera, but really cool. So I put these right in front of my crystal ball. This is from Salem, Massachusetts, by the way. This is where I got that. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys is I opened up one of the Jones brand soda bottles because they have fortunes in them. So this one says, soon you will be sitting on top of the world. And this one says... A certain someone will appear who can enhance your life. So these are fun. I tried to open this on camera, but then um, this happened. It's just... Yeah. These are great for adding to your charm set or just... Honestly, I, I like stuff like this. I find, it, I find it fun and really nostalgic. So let me know if you've ever tried this soda. It's called Jones. 
not sponsored obviously, but uh, yeah, really fun little thing you can add to your charm yeah, So I hope you guys liked this little video. I realized I didn't film an ending. So I really like filming these fun sort of relaxing videos. They're really nice for me. They're fun to do. It's, it's nice to do different things. Um, so I would love to hear what you guys think. I always love your comments. Uh, I've got a pick a card coming tomorrow, so look out for that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you next time.